So I'm here to show you the child figure that I made for Adobe Fuse. And before I get started, I guess I should just do the disclaimer to everyone should know by now to download and archive your copy of Adobe Fuse before September of 2020 because Adobe is going to remove it from their downloads and it should still work as long as you have a an operating system that can open a 32-bit program but you just you won't be able to download it anymore that's the only problem so there's also Mixamo Fuse on Steam, which I think you can still download, but it's basically the same problem if you can't run a 32-bit program. Then, then you, you can't, you unfortunately can't use this program anymore, which is a shame because I love this program. Let me show you how much fun it is to just customize one of these children and I think it's a, I think it's this is definitely the best figure that I've made so far. It's a pretty forgiving shape, which means it deforms pretty well. So when I play with these children, I go into the customize room and I go into the head and I just close out all of these slider categories like that and I just start hitting the randomize button and you'll see that you'll get like some serious characters like if you like stylized kind of cartoon figures fuse will just churn out wonderful looking heads and I don't use the randomize all because that kind of sends the character it's too many parameters at once and their body really distorts and the thing is, with just the head, like just the head selected and doing the head randomizer, if we get close, but one or two things are off, we can still fix the figure. So let me find one who is near, but not quite what we want. Um, <clears throat> Okay, let's pretend that we like this head. <laughs> and uh, in this particular case, the head is too high. And so we'll go into head overall. And there is a setting for head up down. And you can see it's set up a little high. So you can just pull it back down to a normal height. And that's it. One slider and it's a fixed kid. So, where do you find this figure? Um, let me get small. Ta-da! I have an itch.io store, so you find me wet circuit on itch.io. Find my child body base for Adobe Fuse. It comes with four uh, child presets. And the body is about four feet tall. So it's a, it's a child size compared to the rest of your Adobe people, Fuse people. <clears throat> and then you can scale up or down, but you can also add length to the legs and torso. So I say about four feet is the default. And it's pretty easy to make a slightly older child or a slightly younger child. As a bonus, I've made these for older figures, uh, or characters, scene files. You know, I added in the aged skin into the children. I know that doesn't really make sense, but why not? It's a new figure. Why not? Push it to the limits, right? Oh, okay, so also while you're styling these children and you need a specific age, uh, just go online and find these proportion charts because uh, they typically describe like children in terms of how many of their own heads their height is. And so that's going to help you out in Adobe Fuse. Okay. Uh, 
once you download from itch.io, you end up with a, a zip file. And if you open it, you'll see that there's a Mixamo and a parts folder. And what you want to do is go into Adobe Fuse, go under the file menu, and browse imported files. And this will open up a new window. And you see we have the same folder structure, uh, Mixamo and parts. And you're just going to select the presets and they're each a different folder. And you'll just drag them over into the parts folder. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. But that's how easy it is to install. And then you quit out of Fuse and relaunch. And the children, so I'm going to show you each of the, the faces. The children show up here in the browser as uh, four different presets. Hi, I just wanted to take, sorry about the squeaky voice. I it was me trying to be cute. So I just want to take a few minutes and talk about the creator workflow for other people who are looking to make their own, uh, not necessarily for Fuse, but, but uh, figures for 3D game models. And what I am doing is I'm starting with the Fuse base mesh, and that workflow is perhaps a little different than where you see other places, because normally what uh, content creators f will do is they start with a 3D sculpt or a character design and then they go through a retopology phase where they decide where the vertices go on the model and what we're doing starting with a standardized base mesh is a little bit different we already have all the vertices in place and a perfect UV map and what we want is the base mesh to be wrapped to the 3D sculpt. So to do that, I use a, a program called uh, Wrap. And it is... What do I want to say about Wrap? Oh, so um, I recently updated it and there were some great new tools. There was a Virtus brush that made the workflow making these, these kid figures so much easier. Um, than the previous figures that I made before. So I may have to do, I already did one tutorial, but I may have to do a more detailed tutorial. Um, well, kind of more like a workflow thing. So the next step is after I got the mesh finished, I took it into 3D coat for some texture baking, especially the ambient occlusion map which is really important for fuse models. And after that, uh, I had a little bit of editing to do on those texture maps, namely because the eyes and teeth need their own ambient occlusion map but just because you can't really bake them through the skin. So fortunately, inside that content creator package in fuse, where you get the base mesh, is also a teeth and eye ambient occlusion texture. So a little bit of compositing in Photoshop and I got that, uh, got a new texture. So then import the mesh into Fuse. And I started about two days of just working on the, the substance textures. So it does take a long time to uh, get those kids looking the way that they did. And I didn't really have any youth textures or, or, you know, presets in place. I hadn't done that before. So I had to kind of start from scratch. And that was fun, though. And then the final stage, which you all know, is to get the rigging and the blend shapes onto the mesh, onto the model. 
And we do that through by sending to uh, Mixamo.com through Fuse. So that's the workflow. And when I was starting, I couldn't find anyone who would explain this workflow to me. So, and I didn't find any tutorials that were basically the workflow that I wanted. So hopefully that helps you out if you are a content creator yourself. And I hope you will be. So join me. Hit the like button and subscribe because I've got a lot more discussions coming up this month and next month about figure creation and also about mm, general game design. So join me at Cutscene Artist and I will see you next time. Bye!